I may have a little bit of a shopping problem. <laughs> and I have no self-control. Stare uncomfortably into the abyss that is that closet and then eventually I'm gonna sack up and go do it. I My name is Tina and if you're new here, welcome. Uh, I'm going to be a sixth year upper elementary science and health teacher this year on the coast of Maine. And if you're not new here, hi, welcome back. Uh, I am headed into my classroom today. Now, I do wanna just talk about something super quick before we jump into today's vlog. Yes, I am putting in free time. And I know as teachers, we are encouraged to set boundaries and not do that. Uh, I understand that. I work contract hours. I am out the door at 3.20 every single day unless we have like a scheduled meeting or something that I, I genuinely want to work on. Um, but I have very healthy work-life boundaries. So uh, please don't think that I'm one of these teachers that like works 80, 90 hours a week because I am not. But because I live so close to school, it's nice just to get out of the house for an hour once or twice a week and just pick away at something. Uh, ever since I painted my classroom, I've only gone in for about an hour, hour and a half once a week and that's it. And it's because it's stuff that I wanna work on. Like me organizing this closet, I don't have to do it, I want to do it. So I just, I don't want anybody to be like, oh, we have to go in during the summer. No, 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 no. Uh, please don't take this time to relax for me. This is relaxing So just I don't want anyone to one think that I work outrageous hours because I really truly don't and two I don't want anyone to feel guilty that teachers are going in during the summer if you are choosing not to do that There is nothing wrong with that like I fully encourage that actually I know it may not seem like it because I'm going to school But I do encourage that we're gonna go knock some stuff out today and try to get as much done as we can in about an hour hour and a half All right so I am now in my classroom, but I'm gonna get the fan set up in the window and then I will kind of talk to you about what I'm going to do next. Looking at the closet, I don't even know where to start, but I'm gonna come up with a plan of attack because I do not have one. So I'm just lounging. I got a rash from my bag. Uh, I have been struggling with like anything that's like a cloth type of material um, if it puts even the slightest amount of pressure like with the exception of clothing uh, if it puts any pressure on my skin I break out in these really awesome beautiful rashes but anyway so I'm sitting here staring at my closet one it is incredibly toasty in here now that like I'm moving around so we're gonna turn that fan on I'm looking at my closet I think I'm just gonna continue with keep and toss and organize piles uh, just to finish going through that Ideally, I would have everything gone through today, so I'm not gonna start organizing or anything like that I'm just not in the mood to do it. Honestly, like if I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys I really just want to get it at least cleaned out to the point where The junk is gone and by say gone. I really mean it's just thrown around in my classroom like this uh, But yeah, so I'm gonna sip on this stare uncomfortably into the abyss that is that closet and then eventually I'm gonna sack up and go do it so I will be real for you guys once I get motivated enough to start tackling that project all right it is currently 12 59 and I have spent the last hour making grills and I haven't even touched the closet but that is okay that is okay we're gonna hit the closet now that I have energy after doing those I'm also really sweaty from making said reels 
playtime is done. It is now work time. We're gonna get to work. And I'm gonna find somewhere to put you guys where you can watch me get rid of junk. And some good stuff, actually. I can't say it's all junk. There is some really good stuff in here. I'm gonna put you up on a perch up here and we're gonna get to work. I've been trying my best for a while Trying to please everyone who's around me I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly I don't want to be You guys, I I just had an invoice from 2010 Like I just, I don't even know. So much stuff. Organizing this after, like I go through it all, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. But this is going to be so worth it in the long run. Like this notebook used to be white and it's now yellow. And I just don't understand like why this stuff is still in here. Why did somebody not get rid of this sooner? Why am I the one that is doing this? Cool. There's an elementary reading program from 1998. 98. I was seven. Seven years old. I'm now 31 to put that into perspective of how old that is. It's not like I'm saying I'm seven years old and like, you know, I'm 21 fresh out of college. No, no, no. I'm 31. 31. I'm assuming I'm going to have to keep those. I'm assuming I'm teaching. I don't know. Like, do I teach those things? Here's a binder full of folders, empty folders. Nothing in them. Another binder full of folders, also empty. Right. I'm gonna continue going through this stuff. All right, so progress is being made. I'm gonna turn you around and show you the method to this madness because it's really essentially what it is, but that's okay. It's gonna get better or it's gonna get worse before it gets better. So let me turn you around and show you kind of the piles. It's really all it is. It's just a bunch of piles. Everything on this side is all staying except for this, that carton. That's all garbage. These are all empty bins that I'm going to use. These are all classroom supplies I need to find a home for. This is stuff that I need to put in a cabinet. And same thing, empty bins. These are all things that I started to organize and need to finish and just redo. But all of this is staying. This is all good stuff. I have gone through everything on this shelf except for those I need to finish going through. That. I need to do actually <laughs> just kidding I have nothing on this shelf is done uh, this I know what this is these are this is the box for my LED lights uh, so that just kind of lives there for now and then these are just a ton of push pins thumbtacks whatever they're called I don't know the difference between the two these are all things that are staying not here but things that are staying those I'm gonna go through them but I'm pretty sure they're going to go uh, that's all going because they're getting me new curriculum and I'm just going to start fresh rather than having like six or seven different sets for teacher guides. That's probably all going as well and I'm assuming most of that's going to go as well. And then there is a bin back there with more stuff. And then after that it is just organizing. This is all my stuff so I'm not concerned about this. This is a bag of trash and an empty bin. So like it's not as bad as it looks. It looks a lot worse than it actually is which I can deal with this. Like this mess right now is manageable. I could not teach with obviously the mess that's outside my classroom door right now or the closet door, but like this isn't horrible. I don't, oh, I've been looking for those. I don't love this obviously, but like I can work with what's in here because there's enough space to at least put things away. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do next because I need to finish going through some of this stuff. However, I am running out of room for like garbage stuff. So I need to find a box to put anything that's garbage. That way I can put it all over by my classroom door, which I have a box there. Oh, the fan feels so good. And then I have a box here of stuff that needs to go downstairs, which is like the free pile for all the teachers. The issue is the boxes aren't taped. So it's really hard. Alexa, pause. So it's a little bit hard to get the boxes down there. So I'm definitely going to need to bring my wagon in because I'm gonna take everything out of the boxes and put them on the table. But I can't do that without the wagon because they're not taped on the bottom and they're just gonna fall through and I'm gonna be really annoyed if it breaks while I'm walking down the stairs. 
depending on how long that takes me, we'll see if I'm gonna stay a little bit longer or if I'm gonna head out for the day. Uh, I've been here much longer than I wanted to, but I also did not intend on filming any reels. So that kind of made me be here a little bit longer uh, because I spent an hour doing that, not an hour working in the closet, but that's fine. I'm not super concerned about it. Wow, it is toasty. I need this fan on me. Come to mama. All right, time to move trash. I'm gonna enjoy this fan for a second and then we're gonna move some trash around. Super excited because, let me turn you around. I was finishing up with this box that was tucked up under here. Found a ton of batteries and like little mini flashlights. So basically just a bunch of these with batteries. And then you guys, I found more bins with lids. So this is like extra super exciting. There are like five or six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Score. So really excited about these. I'm gonna try to put everything in these just like cohesive looking bins because this will drive me nuts. It's all I have for right now. And if that's what it ends up being for part of it, like I'm fine with that. But you guys know that I'd rather it look something like this. And I mean, obviously I've spent a ton of money on these Sterilite bins and it's just not feasible to buy all bins for this closet because realistically I may not always be in this position and I'm gonna be stuck with like 50 bins so I mean not that many obviously but you know what I'm trying to say so I have to be smart um, so I'm gonna utilize what's already here if I can so finding those was huge I feel like I might call it quits for today because it is so hot in here and I'm just roasting and I don't want to sweat so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean my feet off <laughs> I'm going to sweep this floor because it's getting really nasty and I'm like dragging it all into my classroom which they just did the floor so any mess that is on this floor is caused by moi. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sweep. That way I can clean up all the crumbs and just, I don't wear shoes when I work in my room. I don't know if you guys have picked up on that. I hate shoes, hate shoes. Like I am barefoot all the time. So uh, I don't like crumbs and like things on the bottom of my feet when I'm walking around. So that's also driving me nuts. Uh, and then I'm gonna open a package with you guys and then we're gonna get out of here. So let's get this floor picked up and swept and nice and clean. That way I'm not tracking dust and dirt and nasty crumbs all through my classroom. It is currently 1.40, so I'm gonna call it quits for today and start getting ready to get out of here. And Dusty just left for work, so my watch is going off with ring notifications. Uh, so, it's better. Uh, I can actually like walk in here. I will turn this around and show you the floor. Uh, I'm pleased. Progress is being made. And I am no longer embarrassed to open this door if somebody comes into my room. Before, I was mortified because you couldn't get past the fridge and you still had to move stuff to open said fridge. So I'll spin you around, I'll do a quick pan. So like I said, you couldn't even come into this closet without like you had to open the fridge and like you had to move stuff to open the fridge. So progress is definitely being made and everything that's in here is staying in here. I still have to go through that last little tiny corner like a foot to the wall on all of the shelves. And then this top shelf uh, and then find a home for everything in a way that makes sense to my brain so just picking away at it slowly it doesn't even have to get done before school starts I just have to make sure that everything can fit in here without it looking like it did last time before school starts uh, but it, this isn't something that I plan to completely finish by the end of the summer would I love it done before school starts absolutely but I also am aware that I need to set boundaries and it may not get done and that is okay. I do have something that I'm working on. Maybe I'll show you that when I get home. 
actually I will because I'm really excited it may be like my first thing that I officially put on CPT for sale if I can figure out how to do it I'm not good with that like I'm really great with technology but CPT like intimidates me a little bit so I'm gonna go and I will show you all of that when I get home hey you guys so obviously I am now home and my prime day stuff was just delivered so I thought I would show you what I got take this out and show you because I'm so excited the reasoning for getting a new one was one I wanted something that was white I'm kind of shifting away from that minty color I love it I think it's beautiful but I am starting to outgrow it so I purchased a white one um, and also because I got really sick of having to fill the like the water thing every time I wanted to use it it was not any good I'm trying to get this out of here sorry I'm slowly disappearing uh, it was just not in a good location to be filled so I ordered a white slim which I'm excited about I'll probably take that into work when I go next time so I bought Dusty uh, Dusty has been really big into like biomechanics and he just loves to learn about the body so why the body moves the way that it does how the body moves insertion points and all of that so I got him because he mentioned that he wanted to color uh, so it's an anatomy coloring book and he mentioned wanting one I don't know if this is the one that he wanted if not we can exchange it for the one that he did want uh, but I figured this would just be fun, something fun for him to do. I ordered a paint sprayer. I know, I'm ridiculous. I, I'm aware. Uh, but I'm super excited about this. And as I drop it and break it. The last two things have to go with that. So I just got the rapid cleaning kit for it because I read that this makes it so much easier and quicker to clean. And then... I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna open this because I don't think there's another box, uh, but I got a, this is heavy and I just almost whacked myself in the head, uh, but I got a spray tent to go along with it. I, I may have a little bit of a shopping problem and I have no self-control. So that's the story of how all of this came to be. I'm really excited about the Keurig, like I really want to open it now. I'm not going to, but I really want to, but you guys, it is so beautiful. I have been working on a project that has all different people that I kind of like went over an original picture and created like those faceless cartoons that are super in I don't they don't even know if they still are they may not be anymore but anyway I created a bunch of them so I went A through Z which I'll show you in a second and then I started working on the president so I have not finished I am currently on the 24th president Grover Cleveland uh, but I'm just going in order so these are all of these people and I will show you what this looks like so uh, let's see all right there we go so I wanted the alphabet in my classroom I teach upper elementary so they really don't need it I just wanted it to have like a reference point so I did all stem so it's science technology engineering and mathematics and I did the entire alphabet so I went through and the reason that there's some repeated for letters is because like with M, I didn't know who I wanted, so I did a bunch of different ones. And then after those, I then have them with names. So I have who it is, which I'll probably hang these up because to be completely honest, I will not remember who some of these people are like a month from now. Uh, it took me a while to find some of these people. Like this guy, I had to put his last name first because there was nobody that started with a Q. Um, and yeah but just in case I did it all with regular print and like primary type print and then same thing I did it with names as well so it just goes through with each person and then eventually I'm gonna go through and I will do the same thing with the president that's just been a fun little project I've been working on I don't know if it's something that people are gonna be interested in but I wanted it for my classroom anyway so with that being, I don't know why this is so bright, I apologize. So with that being said, like if that is something that you're interested in, let me know if you have a specific like theme for a group of people or anything like that and you want them done, let me know. It's something that I can work on and post.
one last thing so I think earlier I had mentioned uh, how I break out from like the slightest bit of like pressure and contact on my skin I thought I would show you what my arms look like from carrying in grocery bags so it's really hard to get on camera but this is what my arm looks like um, that's not a shadow that is redness and hives it looks like I got scratched by an animal but I didn't um, this is like completely I, I want to say normal but it's not normal uh, nobody knows what's wrong with me and uh, yeah this started about a year and a half ago like I've never had this problem before I've been waiting for this I ordered this before school got out so that I could start somewhere on the right foot it just arrived today so I'm gonna start reading this it seems like it'll be a pretty quick book it's pretty thin so that's what I'm gonna go do July 18th and I was going to go to school today but we are not uh, if you follow me on Instagram you know that we went to a concert last night and it was two hours away in Portland and we did not get home until 12 30 I think we got home and then by the time because I drove because I love to drive control freak problems uh, because I drove and by the time like I got home and like settled in and just like turned the brain off it was probably like 2 15 2 20 maybe even closer to 2 30 by the time that I fell asleep so uh yeah I am exhausted I got up this morning I slept in until like 8 10 this morning and got up and went to the gym like being completely honest with you guys I am just way too tired to go in today but I do have some school stuff that I want to work on around the house. So I figured I would bring you along for that. That way at least it was some content. And because like I said, I will be working on school stuff. So I'm going to put my batteries to charge because all four of them are dead. And then I will update you guys shortly on what we're going to be doing today. Hopefully I will be productive. I just, I have so much to do for school as well as for grad school and for like just regular housework. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started with our day. Life update, just left storage. We are locked and loaded and there's another tote in my trunk with my classroom books now I don't think I'm gonna start this project today we'll see I have to get everything done around the house while I was out I also stopped at the bakery and picked up some sourdough and I also stopped at Staples because I use a classroom library label system by someone that I cannot remember the name of I will link it down below um, cannot remember the name however I used them last year loved it staples has classroom rewards if you're not using it I suggest using it I had a ton of money in there and I'm so glad I went today because I opened the app and I went to go scan it and the girl looked just she happened to catch the date and she's like oh thank god you use this today and I kind of looked at her weird she's like they expire tomorrow so I had like seventy dollars in rewards in there getting ready to expire so I didn't have to pay for those which is so nice that they are paid for by reward I have to unload all of these they are so stinking heavy you guys I packed these way too heavy so my goal before August 1st is to just slowly go through them label them put my name in them and inventory them in Libib or classroom bookstores I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use probably Libib because I already started uh, with my barcode scanner so lots going on I also need to finish those stem like scientist president posters I was working on I need to start planning and then I need to start classroom prep 
but it's only July 18th and we have plenty of time, at least until my nose surgery. That's pretty much like, for me, that's when summer ends. I know, I missed you too. Say hi. Say hello world, both of you. Hi. All right, hi guys, I just got home. It is currently 9.17, I literally just walked in the door. So this morning I had a doctor's appointment at eight, and then I came home. As soon as I got home, I loaded up the car and ran a load over to the dump. I did have the windows down, so that's why my hair is looking a little extra redonkulous right now. Uh, but I brought in all of those totes that I picked up at storage yesterday. Hi, honey. Uh, so today my goal is to start inventorying <laughs> inventory inventorying whatever that's that's a word now if it's not a word it's not a word hi honey um, I'm gonna start doing that I'm gonna get the laundry put away which is those baskets over there and then we're gonna get started so let's go ahead let's get that done and then let's get some books inventory into Libib right now. Uh, super simple to use, super user friendly. So when you are in here, if you use Libib, um, Bookstores is pretty similar. I used Bookstores for many, many years. I don't know if I will ever go back to Bookstores because Bookstores, so if you just go to add items and then you, I'm adding everything to my classroom library, what you will do is you will make sure that your cursor is on this like search for books thing. I don't have the wireless adapter for this plugged in currently, so we're just dealing. Uh, so anyway, make sure, like I said, your cursor is where it says search, just as if you're going to type something in, so it should be blinking as if you're gonna type, and then you'll come over here, scan the book, and it types in the barcode, and then it adds it to your collection, and then if you scroll down, it'll show you what it is, you can delete it. Um, if you click on view edit, you can change the number of copies. So uh, I've learned the hard way. I learned after doing like probably 20 different books. Uh, let's say you have five copies. You don't need to sit here and hit add copies. You can just change that to five and then hit enter and it will add all of your copies for you. All right, so I've started scanning. I'm gonna show you my system. There really is no system. Uh, it's like that reel that used to go around that says, I have no plan. There is no plan. That's me right now. I'm literally just scanning. I'm creating a pile of things that I do not want. It's going there. And then I'm just putting them by author's last name over here. already and there are tons of books just everywhere hanging out but it's been an hour and one minute now two minutes since I started and I have stopped to take a Facebook break I have stopped to pee I've stopped to drink coffee and I had a phone call with my surgeon's nurse uh, just scheduling my pre-op like phone call review all of that stuff so yeah it's been a very productive hour but we're gonna get to work as much as I love talking to you guys we're gonna continue because I really want to get this done that way I can start working on other projects which I'm super excited about I cannot wait to show you but first we have the most handsome boy hi Bubba and we need to go get your nails cut but you're so miserable when we have to go get your nails cut oh I know the books well oh thank you baby oh my god there's so many books all right last tote and it is the fullest one Oh, and Dusty's home. I see you. <laughs> You're a creeper. That is not a good spot for my coloring book. I was using it as a tripod to sit this on, like as a flat base, but I'm almost done. I've been at this for one hour and Maniac four McGee. minutes. Yeah, do you want it? I'm getting rid of it. 
I already have another copy, so. You're so handsome. Thank you. I love you. No. <laughs> Actually, you don't need to do it with that. What? Just unwrap all right so one hour 17 minutes later i am done i'm gonna get all of these sorted and then i'm just going to create a spreadsheet in google sheets and just record how many i have for each title that is not already labeled because some are uh, i spent quite a bit of time doing all of the ones i had last summer but then i got more books throughout the year and things like that uh, or i just didn't feel like doing anymore <laughs> if I remember correctly I got sick of doing it um, because I didn't have like an organized system to do it I was just pulling them off the shelf and it was just it was a mess so and then I'm gonna put them back in bins by letter and I think I'm gonna get some Astro Bright paper and just mark them like with the page standing up and I'll explain that in a minute so that's what we're gonna do what I'm gonna go through and do now is count the titles um, or count the labels that I'm gonna need so I need to create a Google sheet. So I will turn you around and I already started with A, uh, just to kind of show you what I'm doing. So these are all of the titles that have an author whose last name starts with A and these are already labeled. So in reality, I need one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm just gonna round up and say 10. And I am rounding because obviously like as the year goes on you kind of come into new titles and things like that and i don't want to like have the exact amount i mean it's a whole sheet anyway maddie it's a whole sheet anyway so i'm just rounding up that way i have more than enough thank you cam that way i have more than enough so i'm gonna go through and do that with all of these and then i can put them back in the bin in alphabetical order And again, I'm not doing these, so there's not really as many um, that I need. Let me turn you around and I'll show you what my spreadsheet looks like. Super simple, basic, literally the letter and the title and like the number. Uh, and then I will show you what the labels look like. Okay, so this is a spreadsheet. Like I said, super basic, super simple, literally nothing to it. Just the letter and then how many I need. And again, I round it up, so there's that. And then so this is for fiction stories and it literally just runs through there is for fiction and then for nonfiction are these little symbols and there is a reference key so that students can use this and again i will link these in the description that way we know who it's by and if you want them you can get them all right let's get this mess picked up that way i can go make breakfast because it is currently 11:40, and i've been up since 6 15 and i have yet to eat anything yet mainly because i haven't been hungry but that's fine whatever all right let's get this picked up these in here that way I know where each letter sits and then like these down there so just putting these in as dividers that way I know which letter to pull out and it'll be easier when I go to label them in my classroom in August 
So I am going to end this vlog off here because this vlog has been super choppy and I don't know how long it's going to be, but summer has been choppy. I'm just kind of picking away at things as I feel like it. As always, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell. That way you don't miss any new videos. And as always, thank you so much for your support. It does not go unnoticed. I'm so thankful for all of the engagement and interaction with you guys. I just love like this little community that has formed and I'm very thankful for it. So I will catch you guys next week when hopefully I finish the closet. Uh, not going to school this week. I just don't feel like it, so we're not doing that. I'll catch you guys in next week's video.